It's TK Friday, and today in the joy of editing, it is another full edit, so sit back, relax, and stay tuned. It's TK Friday, and welcome everyone to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Today I have an image for you from Amy Boyce. I'm calling this one On the Wing, a really cool image. This image was shot at South Island New Zealand. I don't know the name of this bird, but if you do, let me know in the comments section below. Now, as always, you can download this image as well as the PDF notes and give this edit a try. You're going to find Dropbox links in the description below this video. Click on more. That opens up the description. Scroll down through and you'll find the links. And if you have an image you would like me to edit on a TK Friday, scroll down further and you'll find a contact me. Click on that link, contact me, and we can discuss doing one of your images on a TK Friday. Friday. By the way, if you don't yet own the TK9 plugin for Photoshop, I'll have links in the description below where you can pick it up along with training videos. And right now there is a new free panel you can pick up. It's the TK print panel. So if you're into printing, I highly recommend that you pick it up. It's absolutely free. And then Sean Bagshaw made a video series to go along with this uh, plugin to show you how to use it so you can download that for free. And right now there is a launch sale going on over at the TK web store. Now, if you'll use my promo code DK15, that will give you 25% off anything you purchase over at the TK web store. But use my promo code, and I appreciate it if you do. If you use that code, I'll make a small commission, and this helps me to keep these TK Friday videos coming your way. You're supporting my channel when you do that, so thank you. So remember, the promo code DK15 will give you 25% off during the introductory launch sale. Thank you for using my code. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, as always, I start out in Lightroom. What I do in Lightroom is just do some basic edits. I want this image to be relatively flat going into Photoshop, and I'm using a linear profile for Amy's camera. And as far as detail, I have a little bit of sharpening and some noise reduction. And also, for lens corrections, I always check on remove chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections. And also, I did a pretty aggressive crop in this image. This was a really big file to start out with, but I think this crop really gives this bird a nice dramatic look, in my opinion. Anyway, that is my crop. And now at this point, we're ready to go into Photoshop. I just right click on the image, go to edit in, edit in Photoshop 2024. But as always, I'm already there. And here we are in Photoshop, ready to get going with the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. When you download your image, it'll look just like this. The first thing I want to do is save out the subject and the background as a channel because I'll be using those later on during the edit, so we'll get that out of the way first. I'll be using the combo panel to do that, but you can use the CX panel. Uh, they're both the same. They're just laid out a little different. And you're going to find this button right here. Hold your command or control key down and click it. You'll save out the subject as a channel, as you'll see right here. Then hold your command or control key down and double click it, and now you'll save out the background as a channel. And next, we'll come up to the multi-mask panel and click on this button to go into luminosity masks. And what we want is a mid-tones 3 because I'll be doing a balance and contrast adjustment first with a color grading tool. And when I use a mid-tones 3, it'll keep me from clipping shadows and highlights. So there's mid-tones 3. Click on this button right here. This gives you a color grading tool. Normally, I'll balance and contrast out the background separate from the subject. But in this case, I didn't really have to do that. It worked out fine by just doing one single balance and contrast adjustment. I'll start out with mid-tone, so I'll click on the mid-tone button, and I just want to lighten up my mid-tones, and I think I'm going to go to right there, plus 38. And now I'll click on the shadow button, and we'll bring in some nice contrast to this image by darkening up the shadows. So I'll take this slider and drag it to the left, and I'm going to take it pretty far over to right there, minus 49. And now I'm going to go and click on my highlight button and just open up the highlights. So I'll drag the slider to the right and I'm going to stop 
right here at plus 31. So now let me shut off this layer. Here is before and here is after. And already we could even say we are done. This looks really good. But from this point on, it's just going to be finessing the image. The first thing I want to do is change the tint of the foliage up here in the foreground. And that'll help with the color contrast of the image. Now to do that, I need to use the multi-mask panel. But right now my color grading tool is in the way. So click the X. Nothing changes down here. And then what we need to do is click this button so we can create a color mask. And now notice we have a color picker. So what we need to do is sample out a color. And with this eyedropper, I'm going to click right here and then we'll click OK. And now you can see these light areas are the areas we picked. But we've also have selected those colors on the bird, which we don't really want. And I'll show you how we take care of that. But what I want to do is take this brightness slider and lighten this up so we can get a stronger effect. So I'm going to take it to right here. If you look right here, all these buttons in gray, these are refinements for the mask. So I'm going to click on the black brush and with 100% opacity, right now my brush is set at 40%. This is a black brush. I'm going to type my zero key. That gets me a 100% opacity for the brush. And I'm just going to paint off this bird here. I'll make my brush a little bit larger to make this go a lot quicker. And we'll just paint off that bird. And now all that remains is the foliage. And now we need to output that. All these buttons in black are the output options. And I want to output this to a hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'll click this button. And now we can see the hue saturation adjustment layer with that mask attached. And now for the adjustment. Now I can leave this on master because I have a mask targeting the color I want. And what I'll do is take this hue and I'm going to drag this to the left to warm up that foliage a little bit. And I'm going to take it to right here, a minus 12. Now I'm going to go to saturation and I want to bump up that saturation to right there, plus 50. Now it's a little too light, so I'm going to take the lightness slider and drag it to the left to darken that up a little bit to right there, minus 15. Now let me shut this layer off. Here's before and here's after and I think that looks really nice. Next I want to lighten up the midtones and that is really easy to do with the TK9 plugin for Photoshop. Come up to the multi mask panel and click on the luminosity mask button and click on midtones 1 and that is the lightest of the midtones. So there's midtones 1, here's midtones 2, it's a little lighter, here's midtones 3, it's stronger but they're all midtones. But I just want a subtle adjustment of the midtones so I'll click on midtones 1. I'll put it to a curves adjustment layer and I'll click on the screen blend mode button and let me shut this off. Here is before and here is after lightening up those midtones, but it's too light. So we can come to the layer opacity. I'm going to click right here and drag this back to right there. 60%. Now let me shut this off. Here's before and here's after just lightening the midtones. And now at this point, I'll study the image and I'll ask myself, what do I want to do next? And what I think I want to do next is darken up the dark tones of the bird to build up some extra contrast. So I'll click this button on the multi-mask panel and our color picker comes up and I'm going to sample this tone right here and click OK. And now I want to refine that a little bit. I want to take this Titan slider and drag it into the left to somewhere right about here. I will be using a burn tool to darken these light areas you see on the bird, which are really the shadow areas. This is a really good mask. If I'm careful, I don't have to worry if I overpaint a little bit because most of the area around the bird is black. But any of these light gray areas, there could be an issue there. But if you had an issue, you could always add a mask to the burn layer. And I'll show you how to do that if you overpaint. But if you're careful, I don't think you'll have a problem. Now all we need to do is output this mask and I'm going to output it to a burn tool. Now the burn tool has two sides. The left side gives you 50% gray layer. The right side gives you a blank pixel layer. I'm just going to use the right side. Either side here would work. It doesn't matter. Sometimes it does. And I always tell you this in my videos, but in this case, it doesn't matter. So we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to use the right side, but you could use the left side as well. It doesn't really matter. And now it's time to do some burning. Now, right now, my brush opacity is at 100%. I'm going to type my four key to get me to 40%. And I'm just looking for dark areas on the bird. Now, when we paint, we'll be applying the burning. I'm not lifting my brush. I'm just painting over all these areas on the bird and down in here, any of these dark areas. Okay. 
And if you go, like I said, if you go outside of the bird, I'll show you how you could fix that problem. But if you're careful, I don't think you'll have to worry too much. I'm going to paint up in here a little bit and darken this up a little bit here. And maybe just come over this one more time over in here. That'll add a little bit more darkening. Now, let me go ahead and shut this layer off. Here is before and here is after. Again, before and after. I may want to go over this area a couple more times. I have lifted my brush. I'm painting again on this shadow area back in here. I think that looks good. I'll paint on there a little bit. And now let me shut this off one more time. Here is before and here is after. And I think that's good. Now, if you overshot and you had an issue, all you need to do is click on this button on the combo or CX panel for the layer mask calculator and then click on subject and click this button to apply that mask and now that'll only keep the burning effect on the bird and nowhere else so now let me shut this off one more time here's before and here is after and I think I like it if you feel the effect is too strong you can click right here you'll see the opacity slider and you could start to pull it back if you felt you went a little bit overboard, and I'll just pull mine back to like 90%. So here's before and here's after. It's better to add too much of the effect than not enough because you always have that opacity slider to fine tune your adjustment. And I'm still studying this image and I'm looking at these wing tips right here. I'd like to darken them down just a little bit. So I'll use another zone mask. I'll click on the zone mask button and now we're going to pick a tone in here. Maybe like right about here. Click OK. And now for some fine tuning, I'm going to take the Titan slider and drag it to the left. And I think to right about here should be good. Now, I could brighten this up with the brightness slider, but I think I'm good. I'm not going to be darkening that down too much, so I think we'll be okay. I might just tighten this a little bit more to say like right there. And now we'll, I'll put it to a burn tool, so I'll click on the right side of the burn tool. The left side will work too, not a problem. I'm still at 40% opacity, and that's what I want. And again, if you paint over, you can always put a mask on here if you're not careful. So I'm just going to paint over these areas right like this. I, th I like these. I might paint this one again in here. Maybe that one more time and that one more time. Let me shut this off. Here is before and here is after. Before, after. And remember, if you overshot, you can always come and put a layer mask on the layer. Click on your layer mask calculator. Click on subject. Click this button to apply it. And you've solved your problem. And now as I study the image, I'm looking at this wing over here and I think it's a little too light drawing my eye too much. So I just want to darken it down a little bit. I'm going to use a color grading tool to do that. But first I need to select it so I could click on my object selection tool. I'm in the rectangle mode and I can just drag a rectangle around here and select that. Or if you have the free TK selection brush, you could use that. I'm going to click this button to deselect that selection and it's free and I have links in the description below if you want to pick it up. I'm going to click this button right here which gives me a, a rectangle selection and what I'm going to do is make my brush a little bit smaller and with my mouse I'll click it one time right here the furthest right point and I drop that magenta dot. I'll click at the highest point right here. I'll click over here to the furthest left point and the lowest point which is right here and click this button and just like that you've made your selection pretty quick pretty easy i love the tk selection brush and now that i've got that selection i'll click on the color grading tool button and there you can see the mask and i'll click on the mid-tone button and i just want to darken up the mid-tones first and just a little bit so i'm going to take that back to maybe right here minus seven and then it's a little light right here, so I'm going to click on the highlight button and drag my highlights to the left to darken them a little bit. And I'm going to drag that over to right there, minus 15. Now let me shut this layer off. Here is before and here is after. And now our eye is not drawn to that wing so much. And now if we draw our attention to the bird, you'll notice there's some really nice color in this bird that I can bring out with a vibrance adjustment. And to do that, I need the multi mask panel. So I'm going to click the X to get rid of the color grading tool. Nothing changes on the layer. Now I can see my multi mask panel. Now I only want to target the bird. So what I'll do is click on the My Channels button, click on the subject, click on the Mask Calculator button, and click X for an intersection. 
And now I'll click on the saturation vibrance mask button. I'm looking for weaker colors, so we want to use vibrance. So here's vibrance one. Here's vibrance two. Now I'm only looking at the bird. And here is vibrance three. Usually I'll use like vibrance four. In this case, I'm going to use vibrance two because I want a stronger adjustment. And now we click equal to make that calculation. And now we only have the bird. We'll output it to a hue saturation adjustment layer. So click this button. And now let's increase that saturation. So I'll drag this slider to the right, the saturation slider, and I'm going to take it to right there, plus 33. Let me shut this off. Here is before and here is after. Again, before and after. It's subtle, but it does bring out the color in the bird. And now I think it's time for a basic vignette. So if your TK actions aren't open, click on your TK button on either the combo or CX panel and then click on vignette. That's a basic vignette. Just click OK for Gaussian blur. And now that's a 30% opacity default setting, which is usually pretty good. And let me shut this layer off. Here's before and here's after. I think I want it a bit stronger, so I'm going to take it up to 50%. Let me shut it off. Here is before and here is after. I like it. We're getting near the end of this edit. I want to lighten up my midtones again. So what we'll do is come up and click on the luminosity mask button. Click on midtones one. I'll put it to a curves adjustment layer. Change the blend mode to screen. And I'll shut this off. Here's before and here's after. And I think that's pretty good. I'm going to leave it at 100%. Two more steps and we are done. I'm going to bring some detail out of the bird. So what we'll do is hold your commander control key down. Click on this button on either the combo or CX panel. That'll stamp all your layers together and give you a smart object. Click on ACR to go into the Adobe Camera Raw filter. Go to the effects group. If your effects aren't open, just click on effects. And what we're going to do is add some texture and some clarity. So I'm going to take the texture slider and drag it to the right over to right there, plus 21. Now remember, this is a smart filter. We can always come back and readjust if we need to. I'm going to go to clarity and I'll give us some clarity by dragging this to the right over to right there plus 28 now if you click and hold on to the eye you can see there's the before release your click and there is the after now right now that affects over the entire image we only want it on the bird but we'll fix that in a second we're going to go ahead and click the ok to output this and now here we are and there's our detail adjustment on this layer now what we can do is click on the layer mask calculator you can either click on background or subject. If you click on subject, click this button to apply it. If you click on background, you can click this minus button to subtract it. Either way works. Let's see a before and after. I'll shut this layer off by clicking the eye. Here's before and here is after. Again, the before and after. And I hope you can see that on the video. I'll click this plus button a couple times to zoom in and hold my space bar down so you can see on the bird. Let me shut this off. Here's before and here is after. Just in case you weren't seeing it. And then click this button to fit it back to screen. One final step and we are done. I feel the background, some of the blue in the background is a little too strong. So what I'm going to do is come up to the multi mask panel and click on the My Channels button. Click on Background. And then I'll put that to a Hue Saturation Adjustment layer by clicking this button. And now we're going to click on the drop down menu. Right now it's on master and we're going to click on blues. And now I'm just going to take this slider, the saturation slider, drag it to the left over to right there, minus 37. Now let me shut off this layer. Here's before and here is after. And I like that a lot better. And now the edit is complete. Let's see the overall before and after. I'm going to come to my combo panel, click this button right here, the before after button. We started out here. And now we end up here, but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And I really hope that you download the image in the PDF notes and give this edit a try. Well, there it is, everyone. Another TK Friday comes to a close. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give it a like, share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Click that bell notification icon. Click all so that you'll receive all notifications. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll get notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.